The World and Vietnam Shirt highlights some notable world news this morning, February 6. Asia Done. Former Pakistani President Pervez Musharraf died on the morning of February 5 at a hospital in Dubai, UAE, at the age of 79 after a long illness. Times now. A bomb exploded in the city of Quetta in the southwestern province of Balochistan on February 5, injuring at least five people. New York. On February 5, China's Ministry of National Defense expressed strict opposition to the U.S. using force to attack China's unmanned civilian balloon. We express our strict opposition to the move of the U.S. side and reserve the right to take necessary measures to resolve similar situations. Chinese Defense Ministry Spokesperson Tan Ki Fi. New York. On February 5, Chinese authorities said 16 people were killed and 66 injured in a continuous traffic accident on a highway in Hunan province. Sankey Shimbun. The Japanese government is ready to consider the deployment of U.S. intermediate range missiles on its territory if Washington initiates formal negotiations on the issue. Europe. Global News Canada has delivered the first of four Leopard 2 tanks scheduled for delivery to Ukraine, Defence Minister Anita Anand announced. Al Arabiya Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov arrived in the Iraqi capital Baghdad on February 5 to discuss bilateral relations and energy cooperation. Putnik Russian ambassador to Denmark Vladimir Barbin said that having discovered Danish mercenaries participating in the conflicts in Ukraine and Copenhagen did not prevent their recruitment. Tess. After a phone call on February 5 between Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko and Russian President Vladimir Putin, the two sides agreed to soon set a date for the bilateral meeting. Sputnik. The Polish military will deploy Patriot air defense systems at an airport in the Bimoa residential area of Warsaw, according to Defense Minister Marius Blazak. Reuters Italy's National Cyber Security Agency, ACN, says thousands of servers around the world have been targeted by a ransomware attack and warns organizations to take action to protect their systems. Their character Americas Fox News. The Democratic National Committee, DNC, approved the party's revised presidential primaries plan, under which the first selection of candidates to run for President of the United States in 2024 will be held in South Carolina, instead of the traditional Iowa state. CNN. The northeast of the United States is experiencing extreme cold weather, record-breaking daily temperatures combined with strong winds, causing one infant death in Massachusetts. AP Chile extends the state of emergency to the vicinity of the Nubal and Bio Bio regions as wildfires are spreading as temperatures continue to rise to record highs. Prensa Latina Cuban firefighters and rangers are battling wildfires covering more than 1,000 hectares in the mountainous Mayari region, about 820 kilometers southeast of the capital, Havana. Reuters. The Canadian Ministry of Defence has confirmed that it has deployed CP-140 Aurora military surveillance aircraft in Haiti to assist the national police in combating criminal gang activity. Thusneem. Cuban Foreign Minister Bruno Rodriguez Perilla met with his Iranian counterpart Hossein Amir Abdalian in Havana, discussing issues of mutual concern at the national and international level. Africa. Monusco. A South African employee of the United Nations peacekeeping mission in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Monusco, was killed and another injured in an attack on a helicopter in eastern DR Congo on February 5. Daily News Egypt Egyptian Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli asked Romania to increase grain exports to Egypt, a major producer of this commodity in Europe and the world. Egypt Independent Suez Canal Authority SCA, President Osama Rabi dismissed rumors that Egypt would sell the Suez Canal to a foreign company under a 99-year concession agreement. New York 
East African leaders called for an immediate ceasefire in eastern DR Congo in a statement released after an extraordinary summit of the East African Community, EAC. Oceania Sky News Attracting more foreign doctors is key to strengthening Australia's health system, according to Health Minister Mark Butler.